uh, for the hotel actually. So every floor, every room, it's everywhere a piece of art. And uh, uh, they conducted videos uh, to, to show my piece in hotel. And uh, this is, uh, so they uh, bought two pieces of my piece. And uh, still this is uh, in the hotel floor. And uh, the showcase design I also designed for, for them. So it was a fast one. Yeah. And then after that, uh, they were very uh, excited with my work and uh, talked to me, well, we are now planning to build our new art museum in Kosh. So uh, at the moment, it was uh, not finished, but uh, uh, this is a plan, it's an old building in Kosh, and uh, they will be built as a contemporary art museum. And uh, this is uh, this is a plan. And oh, I was so excited, well, it's great. Uh, uh, maybe I was again invited some for the group exhibition and so on. And then uh, they started to me to ask, well, if you have interest, maybe we can organize a solo exhibition there. Mm -hmm. So it uh, was uh, not expected, actually, in the past contact, but uh, it's, of course, very uh, great opportunity, so I said yes, of course. And then we started to plan our story exhibition, and uh, the museum is actually not huge, but it's big enough uh, for jewelry piece. So uh, then I decided to show my whole 20 years work, so it's kind of my retrospective. And I came to Germany in 1998, it's uh, 24 years ago, was uh, at the time, in Narita Airport. Very young. <laughs> 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 it looks a bit different. <laughs> so, and uh, uh, started planning the exhibition, and the first fast uh, uh, big scene is what kind of title I should do with it. And uh, I put always uh, actually the exhibition title of my newest work. So for this time, it was uh, not uh, like that because it was uh, with you, it's a uh, duo exhibition. So we created especially uh, for this exhibition, but normally I put my, like Flair, Flair was a title of my first piece of exhibition with Flair. But for this exhibition, uh, it's, of course this is not possible, so I have to think about something uh, nice title. But this is really not easy if you have exhibition for your old pieces together. And then I ask me, <coughs> what is my actual wish or what is my base thinking for like that? And uh, uh, I wish to the audience uh, that people can have uh, communication with peace, so without pain. So I'm always actually holding there, but uh, it's just a few days. And uh, after I left, people come and visit the gallery, the museum, and see the piece. And uh, also in my case, if I see the strong piece or beautiful piece, I can communicate uh, without any uh, text or uh, talking. So I can communicate with a good piece with me and so I wish also uh, people have some kind of uh, communication with my peace and you, you also. So this is actually my wish. And uh, uh, so this is therefore jewelry speaks to you. It's actually, yeah, this is uh, uh, my uh, intention, big intention actually for some also making jewelry. So therefore I called uh, the title voices, it's not voice, because it's many, many, well, actually many uh, works uh, since 20 years, and every work has own story or uh, background history about that. So it's many, many voices actually in my work, and uh, so therefore I call uh, the title voices. Uh, but in Chinese, Voices 
you write down, right? So I don't know if do you understand this Chinese word, maybe not. So this is uh, also for Japanese people, uh, very, very romantic translation. Voice is, uh, we don't translate like that. But in Chinese, it's like a telling sound. So it's, it's telling uh, to outside. It's very nice translation in Chinese. And, uh, I love that, and uh, I decided so it's, uh, that I should be uh, your voices. So this is a, a plan of my uh, exhibition floor. I got the two rooms. Uh, one room is the 100 square meters, and uh, one room is the 80 square meters. So together is uh, 180, which is not small for uh, the And I decided to make two different types of the room. One is more interactive uh, exhibition room, also including the video. And uh, one other room I want to design myself for my own uh, pieces. And exhibition design is also for me a very important topic. I want to create both in the uh, space, uh, the best situation uh, for my kids. And this picture is uh, actually nearby my studio, and I was looking uh, for the idea of the exhibition design, and uh, the title was Voices. And it, this picture catched me somehow, and it reminded me this kind of very classic American theater side. It's very classic. So, uh, and some voices and this image uh, getting together to me, and oh wow, maybe I can make uh, the theater uh, environment for my jewelry piece. So, uh, this is a, a plan of the uh, exhibition design. And uh, using this kind of bar bars, uh, I actually already used for my uh, previous uh, group exhibition. So this exhibition was a group exhibition, and we designed also for this group. And it was a 12 meter very long table on the uh, black acrylic plate. Mm -hmm. The jewelry pieces is there, and we made a light line with flowers. So you see here also the neon light is blue and the orange light uh, and the, also the wall uh, light. And uh, it was a great exhibition. So it was also the moon Pasama was participated in this exhibition. And uh, the bulbs uh, plays of course also the backstage of the, uh, for the actor. So it's a beauty mirror using also very typical uh, item and uh, decided to combine this light and uh, also the theater uh, environment. So this is uh, uh, my friend and I asked them, uh, hey, I have a great idea, can you do it? Yeah. And they said, no. Okay, can we switch the microphone? That's what it doesn't work. So, yeah, so they said no, because it's too expensive. And uh, so my plan was uh, to make different kind of, again, acrylic plate. And I think it was uh, 30 meter long, uh, all over the room, to cover the uh, acrylic plate and uh, over the 300 or 400 bulbs everywhere. And well, uh, okay, then, uh, uh, it's not easy, then, um, okay, if you don't have the money, then I have to make different design, and I uh, suggest them plan B, and they were not really satisfied, and I gave also the plan C, it's much more cheaper, but they were also not satisfied. 
and the end they accepted because the idea was the uh, best also for me and for them. So it was a uh, uh, great negotiation, but uh, was uh, successful. So, and, uh, but this is always not easy to imagine this kind of, uh, it's a big installation uh, without anything to make uh, or to try. So, of course, I wanted to try a little bit in my studio, small case, and acrylic plate to different type and how it looks like the uh, light. And with jewelry piece, it's paper model, how it looks like. Did it, but it, it's, of course, you can never know before in the original space how it looks like. So it was, of course, a lot of risk. Uh, it could be also disaster after that. But uh, they accepted and, uh, yeah, uh, decided and uh, the design was fixed. So the second uh, project in same time uh, making the publication for the exhibition. Uh, so this book, it's quite a lot uh, writing inside. Uh, I asked them the five different person, also different nationality and also different uh, generation. And uh, I wanted combine, yeah, so many different perspectives in my book. And the graphic design is also very, very important because it's many jewelry graphic, it's actually not that so nice, old fashioned. And uh, uh, Studio Amanda Haas is a Swiss graphic designer and also uh, designed against the Noon Pasamas book. Uh, the, the, this site, maybe, uh, you know. So she does a really great job, and uh, we started uh, together to design or create this book. To, to make the book is expensive. It's really a lot of money, because this book is not for, well, actually making any money, bring to it, actually no money. Uh, but uh, make book is really, really expensive. And uh, the museum has also the budget, but it was not enough to make this kind of book. So I have to collect uh, money or sponsors and uh, ask different type of the uh, association. Ati supported also uh, this book. Thanks again to realize that. And uh, also the different company, I asked collectors and schools and also my family uh, supported a bit. So it was uh, maybe the most uh, difficult thing to make the book. Without uh, enough budget, you can realize really what you want to make. So, and the publisher is also very important. This is Arnold Dusche Art Publisher, the German publisher. It's actually always a jewelry maker working together with this Arnold Dusche, but uh, this is important that my book go to all over the world through the, through the publisher. So, and then uh, this is actually the uh, prototype of the book, it's the same size, same material, but everything white before the, uh, before the printed. And uh, it was also very important to make that you can feel how heavy it is and what kind of material and so on. Uh, but it was also very expensive just to make this one uh, prototype and this is my expensivest notebook. Right? <laughs> Forever. <laughs> so, and uh, uh, Amanda did a great job, but she was a very, uh, takes a lot of time 
to make the graphic for the text because it was uh, English. And the exhibition was uh, in Taiwan, so it must be also Chinese there. And I'm Japanese, so I want to also put Japanese, three languages, to make the graphic in, you know, looks good. It's really not easy because all language has different uh, long uh, size and uh, yeah, but uh, she did really, really nice graphic. And uh, this is a fast page Teza Kiss Ring. It's 2000, it's my really early fast work with a cello tape. Inside is Kiss with a lipstick. So it's uh, kissed on the tape and uh, made this ring. So, and this kind of also the uh, video capture. Uh, and we decided, uh, because silver is very, for me, important color, so I use also for this exhibition silver color. But uh, in this book, it's actually all pages silver. Even this small uh, the number of the page, every page is a silver. And the silver printing is uh, different type of color of the normal, and it, it's uh, the cost getting super high, but we decided. So it looks like uh, this is a reflection of the also even text. And uh, this is uh, experimental to print black, white, and silver together. So instead of black, white, uh, picture, we printed silver together. It's you can see also in the book. It uh, also looks very nice. And the cover is also very important. This is a face of the book. And we discussed very, very long time. And uh, the, this is a CMYK and the silver, what we used the color to print this book. And uh, uh, round shape, it's also for me very uh, iconic shape. So you see in my work is everything is just circle. Um, so she made uh, this kind of uh, type suggestion. And at the end, uh, we decided to use uh, cult folia in German, this technique. It's, it's actually, this is not silver printed. This is everything metal covered. Uh, this is also one example. So this is not printed. This is cut the foil in banana size. And then after that, they printed uh, on black. So it's quite new technique on the print. And uh, the final design is that. So we decided to make uh, silver. And then after foil, silver foil, printed, uh, well, 80% black. Then it comes like a, a metallic black. Looks like my silver, uh, black and silver frame. So, and then printed in Berlin. They're a very professional uh, printed company. So, and the papers, and this is aluminum uh, plate for the print. And this is a print uh, extra for silver. So normally this is a for CMYK color, and if you want to print at the silver, you have to make once more extra aluminum plate for silver. So therefore, this is a very uh, expensive. So it's printed. And uh, checking, uh, the Amanda is on the right side. She's checking with a loop, uh, very precisely, very Swiss. And uh, so it's a printed. And this is a foil. So this foil is actually covered on whole and then printed this black. So therefore, it comes a really metallic uh, cover. So it's, uh, this is cover printed. And then the book is arrived in my studio. Uh, 
many times checked, but you can never know how it looks like the end. And uh, it was a fast moment uh, to open the box. And uh, uh, I was really, I say, nervous because it can't be long. You know, it, it's, the mistake is not allowed anymore. <laughs> As everything is done and paid and, you know, and I was so nervous how it looks like and everything is okay and the colors and size and so on. So maybe you can see the, my shaking hands a little bit on the video. So, and uh, I was very happy actually. So this is a, this is a book. And uh, my work is uh, always see, or very often the silver frame, black and silver frame, and inside what's very colorful. So I wanted also uh, somehow put as a uh, book design my uh, work concept. So as I told you, this is a kind of uh, my silver frame. And inside, of course, it's many pictures with colors. But uh, uh, we decided to make uh, the CMYK color uh, in small details. It's like a cyan. So CMYK is a cyan. Is it this? Uh, CM is magenta. Uh, it's this one. Yeah, C magenta. And Y is a yellow and uh, K is black. And I uh, put also a little bit uh, green on the side. So it's uh, all the details uh, of the, uh, the book, uh, put, I put the different type of the color. So, and the uh, book is finished. And now we go to Kaohsiung finally. Have you ever been in Taiwan? No one? One time. one time. One time, yeah. Do you like Taiwan? Yeah. It's a super, super nice uh, country. I've never been there. Uh, but uh, it's, it's, it's fantastic. So uh, it was the first time to uh, visit uh, Taiwan and the Kaohsiung. Uh, this is a, uh, the street. It, it feels like also a little bit Japan and uh, also a uh, little bit China, and it's a good mix uh, of, the, of the culture. So, and this is a, a museum opened uh, 2018, actually. It's quite new, uh, opened. And uh, this is uh, uh, James Tarrell, uh, the American light artist, uh, in the, uh, in the uh, base ground. This is only one James Tarrell, also in uh, Taiwan. It's very beautiful work. And uh, this is a uh, museum coffee. It's also very nice food and coffee and uh, it's uh, everything uh, very fine. And this is a poster of the uh, exhibition. And uh, I arrived. So this is a second room. It's a small room. And uh, this is uh, actually main room. So when I arrived at the uh, whole installation was already finished. And I started to setting up first day, painting like us, our exhibition, start painted. And uh, he's uh, Henry, uh, he is also a jeweler and uh, helped me a lot uh, of the setting. And uh, second day, third day, and the poster came, good food in between, and the fourth day, so cleaning up of the acrylic, and fifth day, and drill, tiny, tiny, small drill for fixing brooches and pieces. Uh, and sixth day, yeah. And this is quite interesting uh, technique of Taiwanese. It's a silk screen on the wall directly. It's not, uh, not tape. 
I never saw that before. Yeah, this is quite interesting. Yeah. So it's, it's done. Very quick, huh? Uh, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's quite, quite new. Yeah, always a nice experience in abroad, different culture. Also hot, always Taiwan. And the final day. So it's a setting up I took the week, seven days, whole week. Uh, never had this kind of time for setting up, but it was, it was a, a great experience. So and the final check is uh, all uh, carpenters uh, checked and uh, uh, all distance and so on. So and there's, uh, there's the writing. And uh, this is a uh, voices, the main title, exhibition title came into the center of the exhibition space. So this is the opening is uh, also the, uh, ready. And came also my family from Japan. So it was uh, very nice. So uh, this is uh, the entrance of the uh, third floor. It's, it's my uh, exhibition floor. Ati was there uh, on the, during the exhibition. So this uh, looks like that. Yeah. Do you remember the picture of my model, paper model, I showed before? So it looks quite same, right? It looks quite nice. But this lighting was actually no idea how it looks with the 300 bulbs. But the end was everything so far great. So I show actually everything. This is my tethering. Uh, it's a chronologically. Uh, and it's a pendant with a target. And this is a pieces with a sunglasses. It was a before I started to work with the camera lens also a time when I was a student. And uh, you see also the nice reflection also through the uh, acrylic uh, board and uh, everything actually uh, doing or yeah, uh, playing with the reflection with my work. So it was also actually very nice uh, effect together with my piece and uh, this big uh, acrylic board reflection. So this is a first generation of the uh, camera lens called Momentopia. It's uh, only black and white, and the shape is also the different. Maybe you, you can realize if you compare the work. And this is also another work uh, with uh, also camera lens. You see also the reflection of the side now voices. And uh, it reflected also each other of uh, front side and uh, back side and also the line of the light goes uh, through the, how say, yeah. Uh, yeah, the light street reflect and go further, yeah. So this is uh, another work uh, with a dichroic mirror. So each of series or the voice, uh, I changed the color of the background. So every piece has own uh, background color. So this is again different piece. And this is a flare with a red background. And this is a shell is uh, made with a mother of power and also the coated. So you see the green or violet color is also PVD coating, which I use now for the camera lens. And uh, it was the first time I tried to use uh, with a mother of power. And this is also a brooch called mother, also mother of power. And uh, the other side is B so in the second generation. So it was a main floor uh, over, I don't know how many pieces, maybe 150 pieces or 200 pieces. So it was uh, really, really a lot. It's a 30 meter long uh, acrylic boat. So in the second room, uh, now, uh, you see the picture of my studio. 
And uh, my friends uh, made specially for this exhibition as uh, a short animation movie. And uh, uh, I want to show you now this movie. Uh, sound is coming? Yeah, it's coming, yeah. Yeah, so uh, this is his work, it's not my work, but uh, he uh, made this video inspired uh, from my work. So you see uh, many uh, details that it, you can see also in my work. And it was very nice uh, to show this movie during the exhibition. After the first room and the people change the room, and then uh, you see first this video and then uh, go the next work. So this is uh, my very early work, uh, gents with uh, seven men's heads. And uh, behind of the head, it's, uh, you can find the brooch of the mustache. Yeah. So it's an uh, interactive work. So this is also my very early work uh, called Extra Bart. It's jewelry gauge and hanging in the middle, the high polished aluminum bowl. It's a pendant. You see the, uh, this honeycomb six, uh, how say, the shape? Honeycomb shape. It's actually reflection of the cage. So this is just high polished aluminum. But the old gauges has a different pattern. So you see every Dependent different type of the reflection. And uh, this is uh, another work called Ghost, is a mirror on mirror. Uh, you see here, so this is actually also brooch, you can take it off and then uh, you can actually wear also as a brooch. And, uh, but if you see it, then uh, it's actually disappeared. You can't really understand what it is. And uh, this shadow you see here on the floor, this is a reflection of the ghost. And uh, the shape, uh, what you see, is also the shadow. It's a reflection from the brooch. Do you understand? It's, it's a little bit uh, not so easy to understand with a picture. So for example, this one, it's uh, uh, posted from the Instagram from the Taiwanese guy. If you see from the front, it looks uh, just normal mirror, but something is wrong. And you realize, oh, something is in the middle and it makes, uh, how can I say, distortion of uh, the reality of your face. And uh, actually this work uh, come 
the idea or inspired after my uh, Bangkok uh, visit uh, six years ago. Do you know what it is, right? Everybody know, right? This is uh, the, uh, the tower, the golden tower. And uh, in the middle, you see the black shadow. This is me. And, uh, but of course, you don't know what it is. This is a totally distorted. And uh, behind the tower, as uh, people believe, of course, somehow the holy things there. Pe people can't come inside. So uh, after my, I was so fascinated with, with this picture. And uh, after I came back to studio in Munich, I uh, made this uh, ghost piece. Yeah, this is a kind of between the object and the jewelry. So it's, uh, it's, it's in between. And this is my uh, favorite picture with my mom uh, during the uh, exhibition opening. So, and now uh, finally we go to Horon. Uh, Horon is the name of my newest work here. So the old links. Uh, actually, the, you saw after the camera lens, actually I stopped to use the camera lens and uh, try to many different type of jewelry. But after, after I came back from uh, Taiwan, I realized somehow the camera lens was kind of my turning point. And also it was a middle time. So 10 years ago I made it and after 10 years, I realized maybe they have more possibility uh, with this material. And I found in the same time this PVD coating technique. And uh, after that uh, PVD coating with, uh, on the uh, camera lens, it looks totally, totally rich and uh, telling different story. So it's, uh, I was very excited to find that and uh, made this kind of uh, pieces. Uh, started again with a uh, camera lens. So the horon means, uh, people asked why horon? And uh, this is actually the definition of the uh, British philosopher uh, called Arthur Kestra. How can I say that horon is a part, but in same time it is whole. It's like a human cell. Human cell, we have millions in our body. But the human cell has whole information of our DNA, right? So it's, it's like this, this kind of definition, Horon. And I call it Horon because this is new work, but I see actually everything what I did before 20 years in my work. So it's many, many details of my beauty. Uh, it's in there. So uh, therefore, I call it Horon because this is one part. But in the same time, this is actually everything what I did until now. So this is a, this is a uh, name why I call it uh, Horon. And, uh, in the same time, uh, Design Miami is uh, one of the very uh, important uh, art fair. It's a design fair, same time in uh, Art Basel in Miami. And uh, my uh, uh, American gallery asked me to make a marifana pipe. Marifana, right? Marifana, yeah? yeah. Marifana pipe, because in America it's very uh, strong. Uh, theme because it's now air out in some place to, to smoke and to get high it's okay and it's healthy and so on so it's, uh, <laughs> people, uh, people started to, to get high uh, but uh, the marifana pipe is actually not that good design so my gallerist uh, asked to all artists hey now maybe it's a good uh, chance uh, to create uh, great marifana pipe as an as art piece. I'm not a smoker, marifana, but uh, I said yes, why not? And uh, uh, try to think about what can I do 
And uh, to make small pipe, it's actually no thing, so it's, it must be somehow a uh, bigger scale. And I, until now, never made this kind of silverware or table object in this scale, never interested, actually. But in this, it was a good chance. Yeah, maybe I, I will try it. So, and then uh, made this kind of uh, paper model uh, using also with a camera lens. And uh, the camera lens makes also the, you know, little bit different uh, reality and uh, making head a little bit shaking. So it uh, maybe fits together with marifana pipe. And uh, this is the end uh, what I made. It's quite big, so it's like, uh, like this size. This size is quite big and heavy. Uh, all we uh, made in silver. Also very functional. You can put in the middle on the hole, uh, put the marifana and then make it foyer and uh, you can use it and getting high. So it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, I made it. And uh, technically it was also a challenge because uh, silver uh, in this scale is making it not real easy. Uh, welding or soldering, it's totally different story if I make the ring. And you need big fire and uh, specific uh, tools and so on. And it was a challenge, but uh, I had so much fun to make this kind of different scales. And the end, uh, it, was, it was great. And uh, now this piece is in uh, the Toledo Museum in Ohio. So, and then I, co I wanted to continue uh, to make this uh, kind of scale and uh, started to make a candle holder. Uh, this is a fast piece of the candle holder. Also, there are lots of lenses. Uh, maybe over three kilo. It's, it's super heavy. Yeah. And this is details. And uh, this is a second candle holder. And this looks like that. So I had a, after my Taiwan exhibition, uh, the result was great, so the museum was happy, and uh, asked me to do uh, again uh, the exhibition, but I already show everything. <laughs> it's not so easy to do. And uh, the museum uh, curated, wow, this is nice, so I showed this kind of new uh, work. Uh, with a horon, and wow, this is nice. We uh, will now create with a French photographer together and the duo exhibition. So it was uh, during the corona time and uh, was not easy time, but uh, we uh, started. And uh, the exhibition title called Hope. And uh, this is a work of uh, Caroline Harley. She's a French photographer. Uh, very abstracted picture. It's a picture from the uh, sky and sea. And uh, she make also the video. So this room uh, is actually the main room of my previous uh, exhibition. It's uh, made different construction now, but she used this uh, uh, room for her work. And in another work, uh, this is also I designed specially for this exhibition. Uh, showed many different types of the horn rings on the acrylic stick and uh, together with uh, also different necklace and uh, this is a horn candle holder. And the exhibition is still going on in Taiwan Kaohsiung. So it's uh, end, until end of this year. And now we are coming to three words. Um, the three words, uh, we discussed the uh, exhibition title together with Ati and Charlotte, and uh, I suggest uh, this title comes from this picture. This picture called uh, Three Words from uh, Asia. You see here the fish under the water, and you see the uh, a tree bread on the water and also the reflection of the trees. So this is a three different 
type of world in one etching. And uh, for this exhibition, I suggested to uh, Ati and uh, Sharat because uh, we, we have two different type of world. And, uh, but if we put together in one space, it creates third different world. And we hope that all customers or many customers can communicate each other with uh, his work and my work and uh, create own world. So this is, a, this is actually the background why we called this uh, title for this exhibition. And this is a very rough sketch uh, for my uh, installation. So I uh, again decided to use black and silver color for my uh, uh, display. And uh, the actually all existed, uh, how say, the display board. Uh, I asked uh, to, to Ati how many you have, and then uh, I use everything, so like that. And then, because of my horror work, is also that I told you this is a part and whole together, so it's a many uh, small display board is a part, but it's getting now everything together, and it's, it's now one uh, landscape as a display. And I started uh, now to make the second version, uh, Horon Link. Uh, you also see in the exhibition, it's uh, as a ring, it's of course quite big, but I love this uh, ring actually. So this is a picture uh, with a one, two, three, four, five uh, rings on the finger. So it uh, looks great. I think, and uh, if you have it on finger, then it also looks great. So please try it. <laughs> it's not object. Yeah. So, and then for, for the, uh, this exhibition, I uh, especially made, this is a little bit small version uh, in the candle stand, uh, but first time I using the black edition, so it's all black. Uh, lens and uh, I think this black version I love something. This is not too loud. This is this is in darkness in the room uh, with a, with a candlelight and very quiet uh, reflection uh, must be also very very nice, making the special uh, atmosphere on the room. So this is uh, another details. And this piece was just finished the uh, day before I fly to Bangkok. So it's super, super fresh. It's still wet, I say. So at the end, I show you uh, the short video.
Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. <laughs>